thank you, thank you. Hi, my babe. Where are we going? Please talk to me. I've Krell's instructions on her. If you're ready to set out, then so are we. I haven't been to Fafnir before. I can travel by Etheride, but what of the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Krell was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. Confluence, you say? Do we, do we know the Confluence? I'm afraid so, my friend. Care, care to enlighten us? You will recall the hunt for Iceheart, onto whose... You know how long ago that one was! Onto whose sanctuary we delivered the owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbreeder. Do I, um... Am I... Am I supposed to know who Mumbrita is? Because I, I... It's been a while, okay? It's, it's... Yes, I'm supposed to know who that is! Who was it? Which one was that? You know when I played a realm reborn, that's been years! He has a girlfriend? <laughs> what? And she died? Well, that's awkward now. Um, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> Rudy was an authority on ephorology, a photo study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right. In their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Hi, Jose Products. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Haven't you gone to see them yet? I attempted to do so earlier, but so to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. As it has the many times I fought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus I have kept my silence. What is my cat doing? Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Guys, chill. Whether you come with us or no, it was your choice and yours alone. If it's too difficult, we'll manage. You are kind to say so, but I have no inten intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that which has long been overdue. If it's settled, then let us be off. When we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Chite. I guess. Okay. Let's go to... That's where I am, wait. What are you guys doing? Can you chill? Oh, cats. They were having a really cute nap just like 10 minutes ago and now all of a sudden they're just like, mm. -mm. Uh, where the hell am I? Wait. We need to go out and then we need to... Where am I going? Oh wait, you can't see the map down there now. Wait, I'm gonna put it up here now for you. The heat... Oh no, my, mine are both sterilized, so... I, I don't have that issue. I just have the issue of not knowing where the hell I'm going. They're just having like their 15 minutes of running around widely in my in my flat. Oh, I can go in here. Nice. Okay, okay. The confluence. Oh, oh, the confluence is here. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Hi, Kita. Oh, she looks adorable! Look at her! Well, now, this is a rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? Not to our knowledge, we're associates of Krilla, the students of Baldusian. We 
seek passage through Favnir and understand that you can assist us. Huh, the task subjects, welcome, welcome. I. Test subjects? Excuse me? Um. <laughs> I, I, I think I need a word with Krill here, huh? Oh, you hadn't heard? Well then, allow me to explain. Yes, please go ahead. Explain yourself. So, in order to travel to an etherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hunting along the livestream. An inconvenient but incontrovertibly in limitation of etherite teleportation. But what if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to an etherite without being attuned to it? That would make attuning to stuff very useless, wouldn't it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years you've labored to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely. And we've finally done it. We've created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. Truly, that changes everything. Well, my language may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these etherites, but the etherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other. Therefore, facilitating travel between the two points. Let me just real quick. No, I think that's a card. Okay, sorry. But it just so happens that our first test pair of etherites, one has been installed here in Shalayan, and the other one over in Yedlichmar, a port town in Pavnir. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Razadhan, and indeed we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. So to sum up, we were to test these Ephorites. How for... Words. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaled my ability to channel Ether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these Ephorites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued the film will whisk you away without an effort or on your part. A veritable dream come true, and far be it from me to worry about such things. But do we have permission to make use of your shiny new inventions? The only permission required is yours, is yours so assuming you're willing, we're all set. Do we... are we... do we know if this is safe? They didn't say if it's safe. Do, do are, are, are we aware if this is maybe gonna hurt us? I would... I need more information about this. But it's plain that you are most people. <laughs> oh wait, she said something I didn't read, did she? Oh wow. M maybe she explained it there. <laughs> Mrs. Squirrel truly knows how to pick them. Yeah, she does. If I might change the subject, are Mr. Lawson and Mistress Blovida not present today? Oh, you didn't hear? They recently resigned their post. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. So Orion Jer was nervous for nothing. Is what I'm hearing out of this. Alaska project helmed by the firm itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. Oh no. Not something from the firm again. I see. Any other questions? No. Now let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Ephraim Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Okay, oops. Wrong button. And then let's go out again. Oh, yo, yo. This is starting off stressful. Oops. No, not what I wanted. Let's wait. Let's wait for the nice lady here. Shall we? Right. We're all 
set. Okay, cool. Just the four of you, was it? Yes. Are we... Sh sh should I bring someone else? Three. I'm already attuned to the crystal in oh. Favnir. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Woman! Please! Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. Oh my god. My character yes, is so uncertain is about this. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. What if you take a wrong turn? Oh, and one last thing. Yes? You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck! You're saying this now? What? Fagus, I bitch! <laughs> By now! <laughs> oh god. What happens if we're not there? Who's gonna pick us up if we're just land somewhere? Hello? Oh wait. Um, I just realized the chat is still on the wrong side. Nobody said anything. So, over there. Over there you go, chat. I banish you to the other side. Oh, it's pretty. Thavnir, home to city-state Rads at Han. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos, in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For a time. Can I tune to the crystal now? Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? Oh god, I feel bad. Oh god, we all feel sick. The scene is just like, um, oh, guys, are you okay? Oh god. Seed is like, oh, do Against I have to be a babysitter? Riandra's just knocked out cold. I'm not sure what to think about this part here in the back. <laughs> Look at him. Oh god, I, I never want to travel like this again, I think. I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Oh, okay, what was it about? Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. <laughs> He's alarmingly bad oh, with no. coin. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> let's um, l let's go with Astinian, I guess, before he just <clears throat> like uses all our money. I'm like, the money is more important than that I feel sick. Let's go. 
You managed to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will you be able to search a senior in time? Oh god. Um, where the hell am I? Here. Stenian! I'm so bad in- there, over there, over there. I found him, I found him, I found him! Oh god, never mind, never mind, never mind. Get up! Girl! Austinian! Don't spend all our money! Please! You there, I need three drinks. Something that helps with ether sickness. But I'm a Suya, a traveler. I, I mean, uh, greetings. Greetings and welcome. You are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special armor, lastly, made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, is famed for calming unruly bellies. By way of warm welcome to Sevnir, I am pleased to offer it to you for the low, low price of 19 fa- You can't tell me, Dad up. He just randomly says this to any traveler that drops by. 19,800 gil for not one, not two, but three bottles. Estinian, please. <laughs> the price is I wrote robbery. It is! I want to say as much to Estinian, but you realize any words of warning you cry out will be accompanied by your lost me. Oh god. Just, just grab on his arm. Just grab on his arm. You must have a first thing on using gestures and deny that he deals his flair. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I use deny? Did I write it? Is the problem that I used the big D? There we go. Oh, that's kind of cute though. Estinian, don't do it. Huh. I thought you... Cat! Are you done? Oh my god, he literally just raced around my table. And he also like... Dropped something while racing over it. What the hell? <clears throat> okay. Huh. I thought you could barely stun. What do you need to tell me? That's the origin. Do not pay 20k here! Yeah, that's exactly what my cat did. I, you guys could probably hear him. Oh god. Like, I shouldn't buy the lossy? Does imagine that swindling me? <laughs> so, 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 since there's apologies, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually... 1,890 gil for the three bottles of Lassie. Huh. A confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Mary, well done. Your coin. Oh, I screeched at something. Wait, you can't see this. Wait. My cat screeched at something because he ran over. Can you hear? Here in the chat. Here. Screech at Scythe. It's the second time my cat screeched at something. He also screeched at something in Baldur's Gate on Friday. How, how is he doing that? Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after I explore the town. Can you can you give me the purse? Ostidian! I don't trust you! Give me the money! Oh, the bunny is pretty. Pretty outfit. <laughs> Sorry. It's rude to stare at others. Even if they're pretty. Hey, guys! I saved us some money! Here you go. Drink this. Right, stupid at 12. My stomach does lose a draft grip. My helpful thanks to you and the Stenian and to the fine fruits of this land. You were in time? Excellent. You spared us the terror's wrath. Yeah, I, I, I definitely did. We can buy some books now with that money I saved. Sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too.
Right, I'm ready to go down with it. That last it truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Please tell me you didn't spend more coin. Oh no, what happened to his hair? Don't tell me. Oh, that's cute though! Oh, that's adorable! Oh... I abandoned. This is the most I could do against this heat, short of shedding my armor. May I ask where you got the court for it? Oh god, please don't tell me you, you paid 100k for this or so. A local vendor. The man said it's half near V. They are not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? <laughs> um... Is that thing made out of gold? 9400 gil. Steel, I was told. What is wrong with these people? Do they see a cedar and be like, that guy in the armor and the weapon on his back, he was definitely gonna kill me if I just like tell him a lie. Just gonna tell him the highest price I can think of. There's nothing fancy, but I always value its functional reform. <sighs> Astinian honey, at least you're pretty, it's okay. That's incredible. <laughs> there is Saif, not even Alphino could hold a candle to you. Oh yeah, true, Alphino also doesn't know how to fucking work with money. It's not uncommon for merchants to set their prices high, but does it seem excessive here? Or all Hunnish merchants so unscrupulous? I expect the Azure Dragon to put up more of a fight. No, this one. This one. What the fuck is going on here? I'm inclined to agree with uh, your assessment. I do seem excessive, unusually so. Claiming Tavnia as its dominion, the nation of Reza Han have long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the Arkasodara, a Matanga tribe indigenous to this land. They're elephants. I like elephants. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and through their interming intermingling a culture rich and distinct that emerge. From alchemy to textiles to products of Hainish culture have come to be celebrated and covered, coveted to the world over. A, develop a, a development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint between east and west. All of this has combined to make it a trip. I swear, I can read, okay? I can read. Let's try this again. All of this has combined to make a trading power of Reza Han, yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nah, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulations. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that the merchants at a gateway town are free to flee, heapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so. The opportunistic pricing is rampant, though suggests that oversight is much weakened. Or may have that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to assain to ascertain the current state of affairs. Fruit and a practical eye, we not to lose by learning more. Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. Uh, we were flying on our asses though, so um, that was a start. Right, let us split up and make inquiries in town. Next, the pier is yours. Once you leave, learn what we can, we regroup by the etherite, of putting through the mere side of it may be. I, 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 need, I need to attune to it, to never feel the sick ever in my life again, wait. Let me, let me quickly attune to the etherite. <laughs> Let's not do this again, huh? And uh, now we need to go down. 
I like the music. The rain is very loud. But the big music we can hear is nice. Crate of fruit. The crate is laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling, as if they had been left too long. I mean, if they just open in the rain, no wonder. And that one merchant was like, oh my god, a traveler. So I assume not a lot of people are traveling here? It's empty, isn't it? Kind of. But there is also someone. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles. At the silhouette of a larger seafaring vessels farther away. Compared to other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. Okay. Hello, madam! Oh, you look cute. Sir? Madam? No, it's a madam. Hi there. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly saw anything these hours. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a concert... A consortium to keep afloat, like Kozal. I don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation. I've come to realize. You're a traveler by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kozal a visit. He big life for talking from aboard. Like as not, you'll find him at the cells when sails, the harbor of gold building across the water from here. Am I supposed to go there? Or is there one more thing here? Is there something over there? Oh, over there. Wait. Hello! Oh, I cannot... God talk you up from here. Well, now, if it isn't a traveler, you are very sad in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide burst since the Akira's tower suddenly appeared on Narunar. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no. It had to spawn the fell fiends as well. So they do have a tower as well. I wasn't sure if that's like a bad tower like our tower is. We still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host, but this mess is as good as that. What will become of us, only the gods know. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't know that, I don't think that any god cares. Whatsoever. Are they causal? Look, we have similar hair. <laughs> the doll muscles aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with that? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself. Oh, the Empire like the Goliaths? And the provinces are in chaos. And then there's a tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting up monstrosities. The city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. <sighs> but this will be an enormous loss. Alright, alright. Forget about the Dalmasans. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines. All the perennial Hannah favorites. Our custodian works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. I know all these things, Kozal. I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. And you are? Wait. You're a foreigner, aren't you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. 
Not quite. I'm sorry. I see, that's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me? My name is Matsuya, and I'm here to see Kazo. Yeah, he's ignoring you. Oh, it seems he's busy. Uh, come back later, then. No, wait! Come back! Please? I'm gonna go after him, don't I? Little elephant, what's wrong? Talk to me! They probably need help because some monstrosities from that tower attacked their, their homeland or something. I bet. Hi there, I'm sorry, I'm right in you. Yes? Can I help you? Can I help you is the question. Oh, I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kozal too, did you? I'm Matsuya, a fisherman of Akyal, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kozal, who offers it to foreign merchants. But he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a heartbreaking man, and I dare not disturb him. Okay, never mind. Nobody's getting attacked. I, um... <laughs> I may have played too many games. Maybe, maybe. 